the five foot seven inch setter from Bangkok, Thailand, number 13, Nude Sara Tom Kong. In relief at times, so it, it might be a situation where Nude Sara could be on a snap count tonight. She'll try to give it a go. Meanwhile, her counterpart, Tori Stringer, looking for Kendall Kip there. That's a quick set, and Bastianelli connects again. They obviously know what's at stake. They're very loose during pregame warm-ups tonight, but this is the biggest game. Here at Viejas Arena on the campus of San Diego State University. Tomcom with an ace. Well, we weren't sure if Nutsara Tomcom was going to give it a go tonight. Hurt her wrist going after a defensive ball late in the win Monday over Orlando. But she is tough. And Taiba Hanif Park said as much, and Tom Cobb is proven as much. Yeah, Caitlin has, has really been a safeguard for this Columbus team and a player that you really want to have for anybody this year. And it's a backline blast from Lindsey Vander Weida, and you highlighted her strong start. Boom. That's as simple as it gets, nobody covering. Ford back to serve, Columbus down seven. Veronica Stone has the slide working early. Patience of it thus far as well. Just able to beat Janasia Moore to the spot. Hey, hitting less than 10% this season, but she's had her moments, Janasia Moore. Big part of that upset win over Atlanta for Columbus. Big reason why they're still even in the playoff chase as Temi thomas Ilara for San Diego comes up with a patented seam seeker. The Fury, man. They've had a furious middle run here in set number one. Hard to believe they can come back and tie it. They'll have to wait. Lindsey Vander Weide. Didn't miss much at all right there. Some authority right now from the Mojo. Looks nothing like the group that is nine and six over their last 15. Stone, a long distance connection from Tom Conn. Answered by Raynell Jones and Thomas Ilara exits stage left to the rescue. Jones dumps it off the block again. Transition chance and Vander Weide and I think the biggest thing, Jake, is that these ladies are able to be themselves. Changing the squad. Talk about the uncertainty. Well, they're certain now. And you just see that energy. Ever since that second homestand, the Mojo found their lineup. And with it, they found an identity. Scrappy defensive points, big blocks in the front. As Jones gets past the big block, to side out for Columbus. But that's the way the Mojo have played. It's no coincidence. They do not give up on any points. Vanderweide, a perfect pass. Thomas Ilara dug by Kendall Kip. Check that, Tori Stringer in the back row. No digging that one. Yeah, they continue to go to it tonight. Nutsar must have told Veronica in between sets, hey, we're going to have a lot of those stone slides here tonight. Seven kills on 14 swings so far tonight for San Diego. Good pass there, and a swing. Almost made it. Eight for 15. She'll make good on the second try. Now that you're starting to see these two teams eliminate the mistakes, volleyball, that we see when they're playing at their best, this is what it looks like. Leone to Stringer, and her setter dump disrupted by Stone. Moore chases it down. Stone runs the slide and draws the defenders away from Vander Weide. A little deception from the former Oregon Duck. You ran the slide play five times tonight, and this worked four of them. You're obviously going to draw the blockers a little bit closer to that. Great deception. Vander Weida with eight kills. Thomas Ilara has none here for the mojo. And Lindsay gets her ninth. Lindsay. 
Vander Lida. On May 15th at CHI Health Center. Don't quote me on the days of the week. I think I got mixed up there. We'll Thanks. confirm that for you. Not the first or the last time that'll happen. Same can be said for that slide, though. It is next Wednesday, to your point there, Mr. Herman. But again, like you said, continuing to go back to that slide play. And why not? It's working to perfection. Columbus not able to cover that in the middle. Watch the side spin off of Stone's right arm there. Protection on that left knee tonight. Playing through some pain, but getting back on the practice court today. Thomas Ilora takes a creative choice to make it 18-17. He was the reason they won set one down the stretch. Was really playing well early on here in the second set. Got to continue to feed her up top. How about the variety in her game tonight? Yeah, again, she's taking a lot off. And at other times, she has slammed. To stay out in front and win set two. Benegas to the floor. Stone on a slot, popped up by Perovic. Moore blocked back. And there it is. San Diego takes a late surge and wins set two. The Ajas Arena to its feet, taking in the sights and sounds of the home finale. For the six foot five right side out of Stanford. Great up there by Janasia Moore. Rolled through by Barch Hackley. In transition, Stone back on one, pushed through and pinballed back over. Rosenthal the third touch. Stone punches the slide to the floor and San Diego makes good on the second chance. Able to defend the first couple of those, but Newt Sar knew exactly what she wanted and went to it yet again and well this season here at Nationwide Arena. They should start a traveling tour. Venegas helicopters it into the air. Another dazzling dig by the Olympian. Thomas Silara, perfect pass, and then Willow splits the block. That is an outstanding defensive point. See Timmy make some kind of play and end up leading to the point for, Mo for the mojo that I think he just was trying to find there in the first two sets. You, know, you got the right players out there on the floor right now. Back to Stone, all reliable on the slide. And before this match here tonight, she said that Ronick has got the respect of everyone in the organization. You've been building toward this moment to be the franchise player, to be a leader for the Mojo. And she's done that in every sense of the word this season. Off the floor now, out of rotation. But that won't be the last we'll hear from Ronica Stone here tonight. Twenty-one sixteen. Thomas Silara trims it to five. Going back and forth right now, Jake. I still think the mojo, you gotta feel like they got one more big run left them in them here. Hasn't looked line as much tonight. Mojo have been taking that away from Kip. But she's found some seams, and Morgan Lewis busts open a seam right there. Yeah, we talk about how Taiba's been putting her in late in the sets. Well, start set four, Morgan. Let's see what we can do. Long college career for Cooper. Seems she got better every year. That growth has continued in Columbus, becoming a six-rotation player. Cut shot. Temi answers. She is on the rise for both teams. Now having to go for the bump set that time was Newt Sara. On the defensive side, her offense is just really start to nail in their shots. Not a lot of secrets anymore. When you get late in a match, especially with these two teams who played thon matches a month ago. San Diego winning in four and five sets. Coming back from deficits in both was really out of the fury when Jenna Rosenthal was at the line there midway through set number three. Wow. This is what a game with playoff stakes should look like. Yeah, this is unreal. And nobody it can stop anybody from absolutely painting the scene right now. I thought you were going to start naming all the Terminator movies. We'd be here a while. That one 
not terminated. Barch Hackley sent back, but a tumbling Valeria Leon lofted it over. Bastianelli just dunks it in over Leon's high hands. Great effort though by the Ohio State. This is the tempo that San Diego wants to play at, Jake. So if it's sustainable for either side, this is play that is sustainable for the mojo. She says that they've figured out ways to diagnose what's happening in the moment. Stone has been the antidote to San Diego's struggles here offensively. Few and far between. She runs another route and hammers it down. They can, nobody can stop whoever's swinging right now. This is unreal, Jim. I mean, if you like offense, you, you like set four right here. The lines are taking a beating from all the outsides here tonight. No line necessary there. Just a missile from Morgan Lewis. Uh, when you know when a big time hitter like Morgan Lewis swings, nobody's going to be able to stop. Bastianelli with the dig, and now Tomka racing over towards Angel Perez to try and keep the point alive. And what about Nutsara showing some kind of effort trying to chase that one down? Stringer on serve. Rasky over to Thomas I. Lara. Set back. Temi again. Blunted by Jenna Rosenthal. A little miscommunication. Down ball from Kip. Big block by Rosenthal. Covered by Venegas. Leon lunges to the rescue. Kip slams it into Temi. Cooper kept alive by Rasky. Thomas Ilora off of Leon. Set your watches. It's Temi time. This. Great first touch there from Rasky. And then Charles Venegas, one of the best setting liberos in the league. Able to find Timmy. Back when they were 5 and 11, staring down a trip to Atlanta. They won that match and the two after that to make this one count. One more point as Thomas Ilara racks up her 19th kill. Tito. San Diego fan left in their seats. Everybody standing. it goes the final playoff spot belongs to San Diego and from the depths of a one and five start they have turned things around and will be packing their bags for Omaha next week. Uh, anything you want to say almost seems fictional, what they've had this year, Jake. And I'm so happy we've been able to be a part of it. And well, they obviously are going to finish out the regular season here with still three more games left. But then, Mr. Herman, this team that started out one and five, didn't want to sit in their first three matches, is going to have a chance to play for $1 million next week. This is where we leave you, from Viejas Arena in San Diego, where the fans made themselves heard all night and all season. The Mojo get it done in front of their fans here in San Diego tonight, making this ticket punching point that little bit more special. San Diego will join Grand Rapids, Omaha, and Atlanta in the quest for a million dollars next week at the CHI Health Center.